So where is the Vancouver West Side single family market heading as of June 2014? Well, in March and April, we saw very much a balanced market condition, a condition not favoring buyers or sellers. This put a slight downward pressure on prices. And May, because of this downward pressure in pricing, saw a lot of activity and the market changed from a balanced condition to a condition favoring sellers. We saw a record number of homes sold in May, with 204 homes sold out of 840 listed on the market, and like I said, very much a seller's market in May. But what's interesting about the market right now is we're seeing more inventory than we've seen over the last 13 months. In fact, we're seeing 7% more inventory than the average over the last 13 months. But we're seeing a record number of sales with 204 homes sold and that's 25% higher than the 13 month average for number of souls. So where do we go from here? Well, I believe we're going to continue to vacillate between a seller's market and a market that's balanced. Building lots, in other words, homes that are very old and are ready to be torn down, are going to continue to drive the market. Anything priced under $2 million will sell very quickly over the next few months. And I believe average prices are going to stay between 2.2 and $2.3 million. My name is David Seton. If you like these types of statistics and market data, please feel free to download my Snap Stats package above. And if you like these types of videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook. For more answers in real estate, give me a call anytime at 604-808-9796. And thank you so much for listening today.